Good morning everyone. The goal of this video is to show how to, to have a Python environment uh, uh, for a project containing package for Google Cloud Platform. Um, the goal is to, to present uh, a project with Apache Beam Python and then another project with uh, BigQuery Python a client and uh, with Python, uh, uh, it's uh, very interesting to, to have uh, some uh, virtual environment. And uh, <clears throat> in this uh, env, it's uh, very interesting to, to be able to, to navigate in the, 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 the Python files uh, without to having uh, some issues to access and navigate to methods and class and other things with Python. I want to industrialize our Python pre project and work uh, comfortably uh, with our local machine. Um, it's, it's very important to, to have this possibility to, to work uh, correctly with, uh, with Python code and Python project. Um, today, uh, I, I want to show how to, to create my virtual env with a tool uh, called uh, pip env. Uh, there is uh, some uh, tools to, to create an, or automate the creation of uh, environ, uh, virtual environment. The, there is, for example, uh, pip env, uh, poetry, and others. But uh, today, I want to, to show that with, with, uh, with pip env. Uh, we can also do that natively with Python and uh, with pip and requirements.txt uh, file. But uh, I used to, to work with pip file and I think it's uh, interesting because we can uh, separate the package uh, that are used for uh, testing and other uh, that is used for uh, application part. Uh, for, uh, for pip env, uh, we have a, a configuration file um, in this configuration file, we can uh, indicate all the, all the needed package <coughs> for our uh, current project. Uh, this project allows uh, us to, to write, for example, an Apache Beam pipeline with Python. Uh, that's why I need having uh, the Apache Beam Python uh, package. I use the, the last uh, version of BIM and uh, I need having also some extra packages uh, regarding uh, about Google Cloud uh, because with BIM I need to access to Google Cloud services. I also have some other uh, open source uh, packages uh, provided uh, from PyP that is the repository that hosts all the open source uh, uh, Python packages. Uh, with pip env, I also indicate the Python current version and uh, is the, the configuration file for pip env. Um, I also want to talk about a tool called pyenv. Uh, PyEnv is interesting because uh, um, sometimes with Python uh, we have uh, globally in our machine we have a Python version uh, natively installed but um, for some reason uh, sometimes we need to use uh, uh, other Python versions for some projects and I think PyEnv is a, is a, is a, a very interesting tool uh, because uh, we can install easily uh, several uh, Python versions and we can, uh, we can set the needed version with, um, with PyEnv uh, and then uh, the, uh, 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 instead of the, the Python uh, system 
uh, our uh, different tools like pipenv will take the version set by pyenv. For example, in my shell, I can um, I can uh, type this uh, command pyenv version. Uh, this command show shows us all the all the, the, the Python versions installed by PyEnv. We have the Python system. We also have the, the 3.8.12 on uh, another version. With uh, this command global, I can set uh, another uh, Python version with PyEnv. Uh, and we have some plugins uh, that we can uh, use in our uh, shell on all my all my ZSH. Um, uh, that is a tool that can bring some um, highlighting and some um, uh, command and um, can simplify uh, with some shortcuts uh, with uh, many tools. Uh, the version of Python used for this uh, use case and set now is 3.8.12 and um, I also uh, in OIMA ZSH I added uh, my plugin uh, a plugin for pipenv um, this plugin is very interesting because when I go to the project uh, the plugin will detect that I have a pip file configuration uh, file and the, the virtual env will be created automatically. For example, if I go in my folder, I think the pip file is here and uh, if uh, I go to, for example, another folder, CD. Uh, ah, sorry. I think it's not the good folder, sorry. CD. Team League, uh, Python instead of Java. I have a project called uh, Team League Python Standard BIM. And as you can see, the virtual env uh, is created automatically because the plugin detect, detected the pip file uh, file. And I, when I, uh, I, um, I enter this command, which Python 3, we can see that my current virtual env in, in this uh, location shear virtual env and team league python standard beam uh, it's okay uh, why is uh, very important to have a virtual env with uh, with python uh, because if we work in some projects and if we install our package packages globally in our machine the risk is having some uh, packages conflict between some projects and to prevent this kind of situation uh, it's very important to isolate uh, packages for uh, for each project in each project we will create a virtual environment that will contain all the packages for this environment and the packages are isolated in this case and uh, uh, we don't have the risk to have a um, conflict between uh, some projects. Uh, if I left out on my folder and, and type the which Python tree command, we can see that automatically uh, the plugins dete detected uh, that I am outside of a pip env uh, project. I also have, a, sorry, a tool called dir env. 
uh, and uh, I have a plugin in OIMAZDSH that uh, use dir env. Uh, dir env with pipe env detected I am outside of my project and uh, when I uh, enter this command, the global Python tree the, the, in um, uh, in PyEnv uh, is shown. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, okay. I go to my folder. Again, I enter this command. Uh, it's good about the explanation for uh, virtual env. Uh, then uh, I have list listed all my packages. We also have packages uh, that will be used only for uh, for dev and testing purpose. And uh, I have a command in my shell to install all my packages from the pip file in my virtual env. Uh, pip, in, pip env install uh, dev. All the, the needed packages will be installed. Um, then um, I'm going to show how to use uh, this virtual env and create an SDK with IntelliJ ID uh, in order to have a comfortable um, envi local environment to work with Python. Uh, we're waiting about the, the installation of packages. It takes a few minutes to, to finish. And uh, because I think Apache Beam um, is not a, a lightweight package, I think. Uh, for IntelliJ ID, uh, we have a dedicated menu to, to create some SDKs. We can, for example, uh, okay, the installation, installation is finished. I go to IntelliJ ID. I have the project structure menu. Uh, sorry, my tool go to the bottom. Uh, in this menu, I have I can uh, create and install some SDKs um, for Java, for Python, and other languages. I click uh, here on this button, add Python SDK. Uh, I can create some, uh, uh, I have different ways to create a, a, a virtual env. Uh, but I, I have a support to, to create a pip env environment. I click on pip env on environment and on OK. IntelliJ will automatically detect uh, that I have a pip file lock file. Uh, also, uh, sorry, uh, a detail. Uh, pip, uh, a tool like pip env is also interesting because uh, when we install the packages, uh, we have a, 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 a pip file lock file that, that is generated. Uh, this uh, pip file lock contains a hash per installed package. Uh, and uh, if for any reason some uh, packages on release change, uh, the, the tool will indicate, it, will indicate that the hash is not good and uh, this way can uh, prevent to uh, replace an existing release in our project and um, I think um, uh, it's very, um, is, um, very interesting to have this kind of system to protect us. Uh, for example, if we have a project that works correctly uh, for uh, for a release, we can't replace this release by another by, by another release. Um, I install the, the SDK. I click on apply. Then I go in my uh, project, uh, and I will uh, select the previously created uh, 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 SDK. 
I have uh, the Python standard beam here. I click on apply, then my IntelliJ will, uh, will uh, create some indexes. And when I navigate on my file in IntelliJ ID, I can navigate on all my classes, all my, uh, the classes provided by uh, my open source packages. I can navigate everywhere. Uh, I don't have uh, some red uh, uh, a noise in my code. I can go to uh, everywhere. I can navigate, for example, on the, the, the beam package here. I can uh, also go to some open source package here and it's very comfortable to work uh, um, with, um, with, with uh, the ability to access to all my uh, all my file functions or classes uh, and I think it's, uh, it's very very interesting. Um, I, I, uh, I show uh, the, the same concern but not with Beam, but with uh, a Google Cloud a Python package. I have a dedicated project that use a cloud function with Python. Um, in my pip file, I have a Google Cloud BigQuery package here, and also a dev package that allows me to, to launch some unit tests with PyTest. Um, with the, the same principle, I go to my folder uh, event arc trigger function and when I enter which Python tree I have the expected virtual env. Uh, here uh, I also have the system of pip file lock with the hash with uh, associated to packages, installed packages. <coughs> and I launch my command pip of install dev and my packages is installed. When I go in IntelliJ ID in the project structure menu, I go to my SDK. I have my uh, SDK that is already installed. Um, then, <clears throat> in the project, I can select the uh, expected and needed SDK, event arc trigger function. And then I can um, show the main file and I can navigate on the BigQuery Python package uh, very easily. I go to the BigQuery here, uh, the downloaded uh, BigQuery uh, Google Cloud Python package and I think it's uh, it's good, it's very comfortable. Uh, I think it's okay for uh, this uh, use case. I, uh, uh, I I think it's very interesting to use virtual env to automate to automate the creation of uh, uh, virtual env uh, for Python project. Uh, we have PyEnv to install several Python versions. We have pip env to automate the creation of virtual env and, and to manage more easily Python packages. Um, we also have uh, 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 an ID um, like IntelliJ uh, that is great. I think IntelliJ is very great because we have support for every languages and many frameworks. And uh, with IntelliJ ID, we, we can have a, a very comfortable environment with Python to work and navigate on files with the system of SDKs. Uh, and, uh, and I think it's good. I, I am happy to, to share this uh, video with you. Uh, don't hesitate to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, and I go... Uh, bye bye